Grace and peace to you from God, the Father of our Lord Jesus. I pray you're all doing well, but above all, I pray that uh, that you have gratitude in your heart. Um, I was just listening to a sermon by my brother, uh, James White, Dr. James White, great teacher, great author, um, just a great contender for the faith. Um, great debater. I mean, I just can't say enough about his, uh, about this servant of our King. Um, so check him out. He's on YouTube. Dr. James White does a lot of debates. Um, he's written some great books, but anyways, I was listening to a sermon of his, um, called the worship of Thanksgiving. And as always, you know, there's conviction with it, with a great and a, a truthful teaching uh, about just how we are constantly falling short as believers, as children of God, as his creatures, whether we claim to believe in him or, or, or deny his existence. Um, and so, you know, it leaves you feeling, um, encouraged but also convicted and um telltale signs of a, of a of a great sermon so but i love it um and i just wanted to get on here you know i'm pretty busy right now i uh, got to get a lot of work done um but i just wanted to touch base with you um encourage you to keep fighting keep striving and around this time of uh thanksgiving um, let us be reminded to constantly be thanking God. And as my brother stressed in his sermon, not just on Thanksgiving Day, but every minute of every hour for everything that we have, because we really have so many luxuries that even people 100 years ago, 200 years ago, just couldn't even fathom having we we are as kings and queens on the earth um and our ability to just run to the store and get whatever meal we want you know instead of having to spend a whole day of you know tilling the ground and and preparing the vegetables that you picked from your own land or farm and and getting the meat you know taken care of by the butcher and then prepared and this you know we just we we have it so made and um you know i look around and i you know i just run a quick errand to grab some supplies for work um and sometimes you know i i, I look around and, and and i see his creation and i'm like wow you know these are your trees father and, and, and these are your creatures, your, your people. And, and you see the cars going back and forth and, and it just, it, it, it's kind of cringy, you know, it kind of, it kind of, it just makes me just want to like, it's gross how ungrateful we are. The more we get, the more convenience, the more luxuries that we have by the grace of the source who is goodness who is kindness who is beyond generous the more we receive from him whew, the less grateful we are we don't understand like if you're sitting up if you're able to hold yourself upright that's his power that's allowing you to do so And you just see us moving so busy, so much to do. We got bills. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to make it to practice. We got to make it to our rehearsals. We got to make it to work. We got to make it to the store. We got to go get this. We got to go to the mechanic. We got to, you know what I'm saying? And then all of this using of his energy and his power to do anything 
whatever it is we call ourselves needing to do, having to do. This and that, I gotta take care of this. So my parents are coming into town. Oh, it's a birthday today and a birthday tomorrow and I gotta go get a gift for such and such and I gotta go do this. Like how often do we just, you know, stop thinking about all of these creaturely things, these things that ultimately will be forgotten and give thanks to the giver of all of this, the creator of all of this. Isn't, doesn't that just make you just like wanna be, just that cringiness just settles in your stomach, begins to turn. It's like, how, how gross, like who are we? You know, and, and I don't know, that's how I feel when I, when I think about all that and I just see everybody coming and going, just acting like, this is all here by accident and chance and 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 it's in quite in quite it's quite the opposite um it's the it's the work of a of a loving kind creator who though he watches us in our uh, lack of gratitude every single day every single day he continues to give and to give and to give too busy for him and he continues to give and to give and to give too busy to think that our energy our strength and our power our knowledge of anything that we know comes from him. And he gives and he gives and he gives. That's my one little gripe. You know, I used to, you know, my journey has been kind of funny. You know, I've gone through episodes where, you know, I'm very like, legalistic and and hung up on holidays and man you know creating this and blah, 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 you know and and i'm glad god brought me out of that um but if there's one thing that i that i've held on to in in all of that even if i just keep it to myself it's 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 the fact that the majority of us will go a whole year without giving thanks for all that we have of every second, of every minute, of every hour of our days and our weeks and our months that God allows for us to have. But because the world says today is the day of giving thanks, then we're a little bit more open and, and aware of the things that we should be grateful for. That's that's my one gripe about, about these things. I celebrate my birthday every day. I'm a Christian. I got I got two birthdays. And 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 if 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 I was completely honest with you, my second birthday is far more important than my than my first birthday because everybody has a first birthday. Everybody walking and moving and going to and fro has that first birthday, but uh, not 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 all of us will get the second birthday, that that new birth, the birth of the spirit, the birth that leads to true life, where where we are welcomed into a place in the heavens where we see in Revelation that even the creatures who never had to receive the grace of God. Uh, and, and the deliverance from sin, give him thanks day in and day out, constant thanksgiving, the place where true gratitude is expressed, where true thanks is given to the God who is deserving of this thanks constantly. But we wait for these days to, to, to celebrate uh, 
what we have, life, parents, um, the coming of Christ at Christmas, you know, and, and, and Thanksgiving and, and, and these things are fine, but I just wish we were, uh, especially believers who have received the second birthday, we were marked as a people, um, as my brother put it, uh, of gratitude as opposed to ingratitude and, and busyness. And so that's, that's very unfortunate. Um, Where are you going? Daddy just got back. So my kids are here. I'm gonna stop here, but just, I just want, you know, I'm going, you know, I'm on my whole little kick right now, just because, I, you know, we, we ought to give God thanks constantly, constantly. All right, my boy, daddy's coming. Um, so just an encouragement, a reminder, hopefully some of you are convicted now and just give, give God thanks as much as you can because he really is just beyond kind and generous and loving and gracious to us all. All right. May his saving grace and peace be upon you.